Today we'd like to look at the proof of the cosine rule. So let's consider a triangle. Let's suppose that we have this triangle. Oh, let's suppose that this is A, this is B, and then this is C. Let's suppose that the side here is B, the side here is A, and then the side here is C. Now, let's produce a perpendicular from B to the AC produce. So, let's suppose that we have this. And this is perpendicular. Let's suppose that this is D. Now, if the angle here, that is BAC, is alpha, then the angle over here we know sum of angles at a point is 180. Hence, the angle here becomes 180 minus alpha. Now, what is sine 180 minus alpha? Sine 180 minus alpha. So, that is opposite over hypotenuse. So, that will be our db all over the b. This implies that the db is equal to, I have to cross multiply, b sine 180 minus alpha. Now when I factorize this, this will be giving me b sine 180 cos alpha minus b cos 180 sine alpha. Now, sine 180 is zero, so everything here will be zero. But then cos 180 is negative one. So here we have b times zero times cos alpha minus b. Cos 180 is negative one times sine alpha. Now everything will be zero, negative and negative positive. So I have b sine alpha. Now what about if I consider cos 180? Now cos, cos of the angle here, that is cos 180 minus alpha. Ka, that is adjacent over um, hypotenuse. What is the adjacent? That is d. All over the hypotenuse. What is the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse is B. In a nutshell, therefore, our DA will be equal to B cos 180 minus alpha. Now, when we factorize this, we are going to get that is B cos 180 cos alpha plus B sine 180 sine alpha. Similarly, sine 180 is zero, so everything here becomes zero. But then cos 180 is negative one. So you're gonna get negative B cos alpha, and everything here becomes of zero. So that is our DA is equal to, that is negative B cos alpha. Now, let's see, let's consider the right angle triangle, let's consider the triangle that is B, D, E. Now, that we can see that the B, C is the high hypotenuse. And what do we know? We know that the square of the high hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Now, we should know that this is small c and this is capital C. Now, so that is c square or b c square equal to b d square plus d c square. Now we know our b c. We had our b c that is b c is c. Our uh, BD, our uh, BD, we had a BD or DB, B sine alpha. 
and then we had our da da to be b cos 180 minus alpha now let's look at the diagram carefully what is dc what is this dc now from the diagram dc is equal to that is da plus ac now what is da we had our da what is da our da to be negative b cos alpha and then what is our ac our ac is a hence our dc square that will be square of that which is a minus b cos alpha all square and this is equal to a square minus 2 magnitude of a magnitude of b cos alpha plus that is magnitude of b cos square alpha and then we know that this is going to be square square but then what do we know we know that if you have if you have x square this is the same as magnitude of x all square is the same thing hence we can change this one to look like this now substituting what do you have what is our bc what is our bc our bc is c so we have c square equal to bd square what is bd we had our bd to be b sine alpha b sine alpha all square and then plus dc all square dc all square we had it to be this that is a square minus 2 magnitude of a magnitude of b cos alpha plus b square cos square alpha now this will change to that is b square sine square alpha plus a square minus 2 a b cos alpha plus magnitude of b all square cos square alpha now you can see b square and this is the same as this we can write this this is the same as that is b square sine square alpha let me bring also this one here i have magnitude of b square cos square alpha plus magnitude of a square minus 2 a b magnitude of a magnitude of b cos alpha we can see that magnitude of b square magnitude of b square is common so we can factorize it out we have sine square alpha plus cos square alpha plus magnitude of a square minus 2 magnitude of a magnitude of b cos alpha now we know sine square alpha plus cos square alpha is 1 so we have that is b square plus a square minus 2 magnitude of a magnitude of b cos alpha and we can rearrange it to have magnitude of a square plus magnitude of b square minus 2 magnitude of a magnitude of b cos alpha which is our c square and this is the same as we shouldn't forget the same as magnitude of that so this is the same as that and this is equal to that so this is what we say is the cosine rule so all that we know is that let's see the angle is alpha so there's the angle where the angle is facing where the angle is facing so you say that magnitude of c square equal to magnitude of a square plus magnitude of b square minus two times magnitude of a times magnitude of b cos alpha of the angle and this is the proof of the cosine rule